So when did I start fishing? I started fishing back as long as I can remember. My dad was big, big into offshore fishing and you know scuba diving and all that stuff. So we we were always in the water. He was he was also involved in the artificial reef program. So we would have to go out there and dive and survey reefs every month. Once I decided I got old enough to where I wanted to, you know, travel and go out of the country, I realized I needed to learn how to free dive if I wanted to go anywhere else in the world. I started to realize it wasn't just fishing, it was about being an all-around water person. Whenever you're in the water, you see how the fish react a little bit differently. I've gone on several dives and just sat there and watched fish eat the baits, you know, like just watch them, you know, eat the cigar minnows or whatever it is that they're eating. And you, you can learn a lot from that. And I feel like, you know, there needs to be more divers and more people that get in the water because they have such an appreciation for what we have out there. Without a doubt, all of us definitely fell in love with it. Once I made my way to Venice, I knew who Kevin Beach was and he was kind of one of those idols that I'd always looked up to. And I just really liked the, uh, the feeling of a brotherhood that Mexican Gulf had. And to me, that was worth more than any amount of money that could have came into the picture. You know, I wanted to fish. I wanted to have friends and I wanted to travel. I feel like through those experiences that I that I did while I was deckhanding, I really could put myself in the customer's shoes and see that, you know, you know, what they were really looking for as far as an experience. They wanted something epic, something that, that they could really remember. What I do is, is not a job at all. Fishing is something that's in my blood. It's something I've always, I'm always going to do. I try to put them on my trip. I really try to build a relationship with the customer. And I feel like that alone makes it feel like it's never a job to me. Whenever I see somebody come back and fish with me, you know, three or four or five times, whatever it is, to try to catch that 30 pound triple tail or that 40 inch bull red, and it finally happens, that's something special. That's not something you can really just go and pay for, you know, and book a charter. That's that's an experience. That's a that's a friendship bonding moment. That's that's way more than just a fish or just a regular fishing trip. That's an incredible experience that they will always remember. The inshore fishing definitely came later on. It's, I feel like with inshore fishing, they got that that one-on-one -on -one experience with the fish a lot more. You know, the they have to actually cast to the fish. I really liked the interaction with the customer. The experience for them I thought was so much more whenever you actually see that customer do it all himself, you know, whether it's cast into a big bull red or, you know, finally getting that five plus pound trout that they've been looking for. You know, everybody asks me what's my favorite fish to catch. Catching a big speckled trout, you know, that that's something that's uh, it takes a lot of time. You have to fish, you have to fish a good bit differently. You're not gonna get as many bites, but that's the point of it, is you're targeting something specific, and if you can deliver on that, that's the, that's the coolest part about, you know, targeting something like a big speckled trout or, you know, catching trout on top water or something like that. You have to, you have to commit. You have to commit to what you're doing, and you can't say you're gonna do anything else, and you gotta focus on that. With redfish, they're, they're by far my, I would say my favorite fish to catch whenever I have clients on the boat, because there's such a there's such a powerful fish. They'll eat at a moment's notice. They're very strong, so as soon as they get hit, you know you you, you know what you got on. You know, there's no question at all. Whenever you know somebody comes here from a long long way away, they, they really they're looking for something to pull. You know, bull reds or redfish do that. They they pull like hell, and they're uh, they're a great fish to catch. They're a lot of fun. By far my favorite. What what I do as a guide is I try to go after whatever the coolest thing at that moment is happening. Whatever the coolest thing is at that moment, whether it's 
you know, trout fishing at the Chandelier Islands or, you know, targeting these big bull reds that are gorging themselves on Menhaden, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, whenever somebody casts out, you know, for their whatever time that day and they finally hook up on that big bull red, you know, and I see their face light up, that, that's it for me. You know, that's, that, that's what does it for a guide, you know, whenever you see people have fun, because at the end of the day, that's all we're doing. We're just living for the experience and then living to talk about it another day. So that feeling's contagious. My name's Paul Miller and inshore fishing is my element.